visiting a garden centre in the autumn, you're faced with uh, banks of spring flowering bulbs. And I thought I'd give you uh, a word or two of advice if uh, you're making a selection. First of all, with the small flower bulbs like uh, the snowdrop, you need to buy those first. Get them as soon as you can because little bulbs like this in a dry atmosphere can desiccate very quickly. Once you've got them, if you're not ready to plant at home, uh, what it is worth doing is to get uh, pots, uh, preferably a soil-based compost, something like John Innes, and just plant these in the pot. I'd probably put three in this pot. And then uh, just place somewhere cool. They'll make root and grow. And you could uh, even bring them indoors when they're in flower. But there'll be a complete root system. And planting like that, without them having dried at all, they will establish very quickly. It's important with things like winter aconite too, they're tiny. You may even soak those in water on a saucer just for uh, half an hour or so and you'll see them swell up and then plant them in pots. And the same story with the uh, fritillaria, the snake's head fritillaria, that has a tiny bulb. And quite often people will plant them and say that they're not successful. Quite honestly, if you plant them early in a pot and get them rooted, and then plant them in a semi-shaded spot is quite good and let them self-seed in two or three years you'll have a garden full of them. When it comes to the uh, hardy cyclamen the skins of these can get uh, really tough when they're dried out. Uh, you can see how gnarled and dry that is and no sign of growth and so when you pot those, make sure the, camp, the compost is nice and damp and that they're fully covered. It might be safer to uh, buy them pot grown, they'll cost you a little more. Uh, with the dried corn you'll need to be patient. But much like the fritillaria, once you've uh, got a pot and planted in the garden, all these uh, flower heads, you can see them here, they coil back like springs. And when the seed is ripe, the spring unwinds again and stretches out to spread the population across the surface. And it won't be very long before you've got a carpet of hardy cyclamen. Now usually, size matters. The bigger the bulb, the better. Certainly with a big narcissus, you'll get more flowers. And with tulips, very often, you'll find them this kind of size, which are called 10-11s, <coughs> and occasionally you'll see them available loose in top size, which is something like 12-14 and even better 14-ups. If you want to plant tulips and have them come up and flower year after year, then you need top size, particularly of the Darwin hybrids. The smaller size will crumb and flower fine, and if you're going to ditch them after a year, well then they're fine. But if you want something that will naturalise and grow for many years, then the bigger the bulb, the better. Uh, and when it comes to planting uh, tulips, you'll notice that they have a flat side to them. That side is quite flat, and, and this side is quite rounded. And if you put that flat side to the edge of the container, you need a much bigger container than this, then the flower spike comes up here, and when you've planted them round the edge of the container, it means that you have a bigger display. So with tulips, you look for the big size, and if you're planting in containers, you plant the flat side out to the edge to get the biggest display. In the uh, second year, after you've grown them and they've flowered, then of course there will be several bulbs when you lift them. This, probably 10, 11, that will flower. This one might just flower, and the very small one will need to be grown on for a year to flower in two years' time. 
I think it is worth saving but if you want to guarantee flowering then you just save the larger ones. I hope that's of uh, some help to you. Uh, there is always an exception that proves the rule. When it comes to hyacinths, if you want them for bedding out in the garden, then you go for the smaller size. Because if you go for the top size, what is called 19 centimetre, and that 19 centimetre is the circumference, then that will produce a very big spike of flower, which if it rains, will um, the flower head will come heavy and flop over. And so for bedding with hyacinths, we go to the middle to smaller size, quite the reverse for tulips and uh, narcissus and daffodils.